welcome back to Harry John's YouTube channel and Harry John's Kitchen. Alright, the time has come to do the, uh, or start the secondary fermentation of the blackberry or bramble wine. So here you can see I am sanitising everything um, before we put the must into the demijohns. And as soon as that's finished sanitising, I will show you all the equipment we are going to need today. Okay, so before I show you the equipment, let me just show you the uh, the must here, the berries and the sugar and yeast all mixed together. So this has been sitting here for a week now. Um, I put this in on the 2nd and now it is the 9th of September and it is time for it to come out of the fermentation bucket and into the Debbie Johns. So, this is smelling beautiful still now. You can see that the colour has you know, come out of the blackberries. So all of the sugars from the blackberries mixed in with the sugar added is combining into a beautiful flavour. So I'm looking forward to trying this uh, burgundy red wine this year. First time I've used a burgundy use, yeast, sorry. All right, so I'll come back with the equipment. Okay. So here we are. So these are the basics of what you need. Um, so I like to have a second bucket so that when I transfer the must from this bucket to somewhere else to separate the, uh, the fruit, the blackberries in this case, I find it very handy to have another uh, bucket big enough to contain the liquid again. It's a lot of sterilizing and cleaning to do, but I definitely think it's worth it. Um, so next up, we need a draining bag, preferably one bigger than this, but it should work. I like to use a uh, colander and uh, basically put it over the fermentation bucket like this and slowly pour the fruit and the must into this bucket. Uh, next, you're going to need a, um, I always forget what these are called, <sighs> bear with me one second. Airlock, there we go. So you need an airlock. I've got two sterilized. Uh, these are going to go in the demijohns that are still uh, being sterilized on the side there. Um, and also, you can use a funnel and just put it in the top of the demijohns after this. I have done this to the passion fruit wine. Uh, I will put a link in the description or in the corner. Uh, to show you this, but if you do have a siphon tube, it is much easier to put it into the demijohn, and I do think it does a better job, but either way will work. All right, so next up, I'm gonna pour this bucket into this draining bag with the colander into this fermentation bucket. Okay, so the angle is gonna be fun on this. Uh, I think you can see me. Wish me luck. Uh, I'm going to try not to make a mess. And yeah, uh, this wine can stay in your clothes. And I'm wearing nice ones, so make sure you're not wearing nice clothes that you don't want to stain when you do this. Okay. Nice and slowly. You could also use a jug. Um, make sure you sterilise it. It's a beautiful colour. Smells great. Really excited for this one. All right, I'm just going to let that drain for a minute. All right, so I've left this for about five minutes now. As you can see, I've almost got two gallons. It's pretty much two gallons now. And I don't like to squeeze these much because you want to separate this fruit 
um, and all the bits in there from the actual juice now which is draining through below so yeah if you need to squeeze it a little bit but don't squeeze it too much okay so leave this to settle for about another five minutes so any kind of yeast uh, yeast cake or any big build up will sink to the bottom now the siphon tube is in and it's got this funnel at the end which will keep most of the gunk at the bottom of the uh, this bucket so we're going to suck on this siphon tube and we're going to put it into these two jemmy johns Okay, so here we are guys, so all of the uh, juice, well I couldn't get quite all of the juice out of the fermentation bucket, but the vast majority has now gone into these demijohns, so the last step is to put the airlocks on these demijohns. Now, as you can see, they're not quite full to the top, and I'm going to come back tomorrow and show you a little trick to get these uh, as full as possible. Okay, so we're back guys, so as you can see, the wine is bubbling away nicely and uh, you can see it in those airlocks there and it doesn't take long to get to this stage. But, as we left off last time, um, you can see that the demijohns are not filled up to the top and I like to fill them up just to about this spout here, um, just to get the most wine at the end. Now, a little trick to this, if you don't have enough juice um, to fill these both up to the top, is to add some more water and sugar uh, and all I'm simply going to do is put a cup of water into this jug uh, and for every cup I like to add about uh, 130 grams of sugar works out about the same ratio that we've currently got in the demijohns here and uh, yeah I'll try and get it all on camera but I've got a sterilized funnel which is going to go in the top of these demijohns and I'm just going to top it off uh, until I get to yeah this this bottom area of the spout here. All right. So you don't want the water to be too hot. I've boiled the kettle, but I'm going to do a bit of a mixture. It's going to be half a cup of cold water, and it's going to be half a cup of hot water. And I'll check the temperature. But obviously the sugar is not going to dissolve too well uh, if you just put cold water in. It'd probably be fine, but yeah, we'll go for this. So, uh, to start with, half a cup's going to be interesting to measure in here. Um, right, so half a cup here. Alright, that's cool. Now, add the sugar. This one to measure half a cup because obviously the sugar will have increased the volume there. I think 
he likes it. There we go, that looks great. Into that, same again. Check that temperature. We got 21 degrees, yeah, so I'm not worried. If when the water lets in, it's not gonna change the temperature in general in there, so the yeast will be fine. And there we have it guys. So as you can see, these two are topped off just to the base of the spout there. So this is absolutely fine with wine because you have to add sugar anyway, so We've added the same amount of sugar and water as before, so these will come out great. Alright, thank you for watching guys. I hope you find, found this video interesting and helpful. Uh, happy brewing and have a great day. Cheers.